Eric Mwade at Mwade.com. Let's take a look at an Indian stock here, Microfocus International. And we are seeing a stock that has had a nice run since the IPO in 2014. Essentially moving here from 1,000 to the current highs of about 2,400. So we can see that this is an IPO. So of course, we don't have fully developed monthly charts. The only time the monthly chart gives us our buy point in terms of breaking out to three year highs is during this period here. So let's call it in July of this year or June breakout there and you can also see in the, that's the breakout in the monthly RSI and also the movement of the RSI above 69.1 for the first time ever and we can also see that it corresponds nicely with the MACDs moving to all-time highs so that period in June so we are talking about this breakout here This breakout right here met the minimum requirements. We're talking about this breakout here. So since then, the stock has had a nice run. And especially since the RSI has remained above 69.1. So this is the monthly. Let's take a look at all data weekly. And as an IPO, we can see that on the weekly chart, the first major buy signal happens to be during this breakout here. And this was during, let's say, the mid of March 2015. So that time period corresponds with this area of the chart where we see that the RSI was moving to all-time highs on the weekly and so was the MACD. So that breakout met the minimum requirements. The stock has never looked back since then. And also one other observation here is if you take a look at the most recent drops or pullbacks here coincided nicely with the stock finding RSI support at the 50 RSI level on the weekly RSI and also here the stock did bounce on the 50 RSI line on the weekly and for both occasions we can see the stock would go on to record fresh highs. One other observation is we can see the current move, this recent explosion in price from a technical standpoint corresponds nicely with the RSI jumping to all-time highs on the weekly chart. And of course, we are talking about this movement, which has kept the RSI at all-time highs. That also corresponds with the main MACD moving to all-time highs. So this recent explosion in price based on whether you look at the weekly chart or you look at the monthly chart corresponds with the RSI staying above 69.1, RSI jumping to all-time highs and so is the default MACD on the weekly jumping to all-time highs which explains the explosion in price over the last, yes, over the last couple of weeks and months. Eric Mwather at Mwather.com as always insist that your stocks are breaking out in terms of the RSI and the MACDs and you might have a chance of owning some of these great moving instruments. Peace and blessings. E-A-C-S. Yeah boy.